The seven star terror raid event for Rillaboom is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video as well as the best Pokemon to solo this with in your game. So the first phase of this Rillaboom 7 star terror raid event will be running from today as of recording this video from the 28th of July until the 30th over this weekend. And then it will be returning for its second phase next weekend from the 4th of August until the 6th. Just bear in mind, if you don't go online after this event ends on the 30th, you'll be able to keep this raid in your games and kind of farm for the high cost items. Rillaboom's details, it is going to be level 100. It is going to have its hidden ability, Grassy Surge, and it will have the moveset, Drum Beating, Acrobatics, Body Slam, Low Kick, Growth, Boom Burst and Bulk Up. So pretty close to what we kind of went over in our preview article. It is gonna have the mightiest mark. It is gonna be normal terror type, of course, and it is only gonna be catchable once per save file. So once you've caught it in your save, you'll no longer be able to catch it again, but you will be able to go in and repeat the raid for, like I said, these higher cost items. You're gonna get a selection of large and XL candies. Carbos is gonna be the vitamin or vitamin that you're gonna receive as well as normal terror shards. You're gonna get TM, ability patch, ability capsule, and also bottle caps, PP ups, and a bunch of other really great items that you're gonna be able to sell for a high cost and rack up a lot of money and decent items that are gonna be useful in your games. So the Rillaboom is gonna have a grass coverage in that drum beating, the flying coverage that we did expect from the acrobatics, gonna make it difficult to bring those fights types normal coverage to complement its normal terror typing and fighting coverage as well and its kind of stat boosting moves are going to be growth so don't bring anything with sunny day to this raid Coriodon in particular not going to be very good because uh, you'll boost the growth from one stage boost to two stage boosts and then bulk up as well as the other one. So to access this event in your game, you're going to make sure that you are connected to the internet, then come to your Poker Portal, then down into Mystery Gifts and get Poker Portal News. This will then connect you and update all of your dens in the region. Once you've done that, come onto your map and you'll be able to locate the seven star terror raid event. It'll look like a six star terror raid like you'll see here, but it will have the normal terror type symbol. Once you've located it, head over to it in your game. So once you've located the raid, we can now go over the build that I'm gonna recommend that you take into this one so you have an easy time solo in it in your games. And it is gonna be a Pokemon that we did feature in our preview articles. It is gonna be Corviknight. I think at the minute after our preliminary testing, it is gonna be the most solid choice that's gonna give you an easy time when going in against this seven star raid to either farm for those items over and over again or just grab the Rillaboom so you've got it for your collection. So this Corviknight is going to have the fighting terror type. Now you may worry about acrobatics but once you do terrestrialize you're going to be in a good position where you are set up anyway so the acrobatics really shouldn't be causing you too many issues especially with how the Rillaboom interacts in the raid. You're going to be level 100. You're going to have the expert belt as your held item. That can be interchanged for the leftovers item if you are feeling like you're taking a little bit too much chip while you are setting your Corviknight up. The leftovers is really nice just to kind of keep your HP topped up so that can be interchanged but if you prefer a little bit more damage output then go for the expert belt like we've got here level 100 like I say and the moveset is going to be roost it gives you a line of recovery so restoring half your HP every time you use it so when you are setting up in the raid then you've got that option rather than relying on like one of the heal cheers or anything like that. Then you've got the iron defense that is going to be primarily what we're going for in this raid to boost our defense by two stages every time you use it. We've got screech which we can use at the beginning of the raid to lower the defense on the Rillaboom by two stages every time we hit and then body press is going to be a big attacking move that we'll be relying on in this raid. It might be wise to PP max the body press as well just to make sure that you got enough uh, body presses to kind of clear the raid but you should be fine with 10 but it's just a preliminary caution if you want to pp max that move because it is the only move option you've got the ev spread that we're going for with the corviknight is going to be 252 hp 252 defense with a bold nature and we do have that mirror armor ability as well on there so that is the corviknight it will be down in the description if you want to take a look at it and we'll jump into the raid now and i'll go through it step by step with you to show you exactly how to do it most optimally so you can take down this Rillaboom but there are going to be a variety of different ways you can approach this raid with the 
Corviknight. You've got the good defenses, you've got the good typing, and you've got good damage output as well. So you should be able to do it, but if you follow step by step, the way that we're doing it, it will make it a lot easier for you and you'll clear it a lot quicker, especially if you are looking to farm the items after you've caught the Rillaboom for the first time. Turn zero before anything begins, you're gonna see its hidden ability activate, Grassy Surge. The Grassy Terrain will hit the field for the next five turns. So that's boosting any grass type moves, but not really gonna affect you. And then you're gonna see the growth come out and it's gonna boost its attack and special attack by one stage at the start of the battle. And that is it. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go for these Screeches because you wanna get the Screeches off before the shield goes up. You'll take a low kick, it'll probably go for that initially. Um, and sometimes you might miss a Screech, but don't worry about it too much. As long as you can get like two off, you're gonna be pretty fine going forward after this. But the Rillaboom, not gonna reset any of these drops. And you can see there, a little bit unfortunate on our end, we do miss our second Screech, but the Rillaboom does get paralyzed. Uh, the Rillaboom's not gonna reset any of these drops until after the shield is broken, what we found. So um, we do hit a second one. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a third attempt at it or a third one off before the shield goes up the shield normally goes up on turn four uh, but it looks like because of that paralysis we're going to be able to get that third screech off so it is minus six defense at the moment so that's perfect now shield should go up this next turn we're not sitting in a great position defensively here so it's probably a good idea right now to go for a roost you kind of want to put off going for those iron defenses because on turn six to turn seven it will nullify all of your stat boosts on your side of the field not its side of the field your side of the field so you want to kind of just put off going for those iron defenses until you can make sure that you're getting the three off consecutively and they're not going to get removed so this turn this next turn after you've got that roost off and you're in a bit of a healthier position you go for a body press here you're going to take a low kick as well body press will come out and do negligible damage and uh, there you go nullified stat boost and abilities on your side of the field okay so after this turn it's going to go for a growth and now you want to start going for those iron defenses this is where it's really important it is going to fire off a boom burst this will do decent damage to you because it's boosted plus two but you can either roost here which we're going to do just to make sure that we stay in this battle and then we're going to go for an iron defense after this and then try and get our three iron defenses off so we'll recover us a little bit and it should give us a little bit of room to iron defense roost iron defense roost and then I get our final iron defense off before we can launch these body presses off before we can terrestrialize as well. We'll go for that roost again and that should be enough after that to get our last two iron defenses up to boost that body press going forward in this match. And you can see we're sitting at a pretty good time with the raid timer as well. We're not in any trouble of it ending anytime soon. And we'll go for these iron defenses now. So we'll take this one, slow kick, and we'll get our iron defense up. And that puts us on plus four. Rillaboom, remember, is still minus six defense. And we're in a good spot now to go for that final, third and final iron defense here. And we're in a good spot where we can get a roost off next turn, probably before we want to attack, to be honest. Because I think after the shield goes down, like I say, it will nullify um, the stat drops on its side of the field. We'll still have a stat boost, so we'll be fine but we wanna be in a bit more of a healthier position before we start launching attacks off where we're getting ourselves into a good position where we can terrestrialize. So Acrobatic's gonna come out here, not doing very much at all, so that's nice to see, as we'll be able to launch his body press off and do a good chunk of damage, and we'll be able to chip away at this shield pretty quickly. Even if we are seeing a bulk up from it, it is gonna put its defense to minus five. Uh, we can take a look at the stats on both sides of the field. So there's our plus six defense and there's the Rillaboom, minus five defense, but plus three attack. So uh, it's just something to kind of keep an eye on, but you go for this body press once again, and we're just gonna try and chip away. Two more body pressures should get the shield broken. Then we're gonna be in a good position then to terrestrialize and uh, potentially pick up uh two hit here but we can terrestrialize right now so actually we're going to go for that right now make sure that we do get rid of this shield and like i say after the shield goes down it will nullify any stat drops on its side of the field so that's something that you just need to be aware of now at that stage you can just carry on going for the body presses if you want because you're going to have that plus six defense stat on your side of the field anyway uh, or you can go for additional screeches, which will help kind of the damage output against the Rillaboom um, and just lower that defense a little bit more. So there you go. You can see the big damage there that we're doing to the Rillaboom and its shield is broken. 
uh, which is great. And then it removes the negative effects on its side of the field. So you can go, like I say, for the screeches here if you want, or if you just want to expedite this, speed it up a bit, you can just continually go for those body presses, which might be the better option if you are farming the items because you're doing so much good damage anyway. And uh, the paralysis definitely helps us there, but kind of makes up for that screech miss earlier on i guess and one more body press and that is near enough going to be it and uh, it's going to be the quickest way and even with those iron defenses like you say you're going to be able to take um the attacks pretty well from the rillaboom and you can see we are pretty close to getting knocked out but um the uh, the mirror armor ability coming in handy there with if it does use drum beating when you are terrestrialized you're going to just throw that back onto the rillaboom and uh, this final body press will be enough to pick up the knockout and you'll be able to catch it that easily and with that you just want to pick your favorite ball we got sent one on stream so thank you very much to bevum for our gifted friend ball which is perfect for the rillaboom and there we go all caught and then we'll be able to have a look at the items you get those large candy xl candies the car bars we didn't get an ability capsule here but never mind we got a bunch of good high cost items and that is great we got the really boom now in our game and then we can proceed to go forward and just farm it for these high cost items and with covenant you're going to have a really easy time doing this especially if you're soloing this in your game um, and you're not going to have any troubles at all so to get the raid then back because obviously once you've defeated the raid it will disappear from your map you can use the technique of just hitting into your home menu then coming down into your system settings then down into system then down into date and time just make sure that your clock via the internet the synchronized is set to off and then come down into your date and time don't change anything in here just toggle through click that okay back into your home menu and then into the game and then all the dens will respawn uh, in your area and you'll be able to locate that seven star raid wherever it is on your map and then head out to it and then do the really boom once again so that is everything for today's video that is the Corviknight build that i would recommend taking into this raid to give you an easy time solo in your game it was something that we covered in our preview article so happy to see that working out in this one let me know down in the comment section below what you've been using though in these raids or have you been relying on the Corviknight I do feel like it's one of the more solid options to go into this raid with this weekend. But of course, as always, if we do get any more builds that do crop up that are very effective of going into this raid and soloing it super easy, then we will post another video update on the channel. So keep an eye out for that. Do drop a like on the video if you have found it useful and do subscribe to the channel for any further updates in regards to this raid or any other Pokemon news that we cover here on the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have fun with the Rillaboom raid and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Soon, so until then, take care of yourselves and bye bye.